It's May 25th, 2014. It's the first prototype. She's spinning two motors with the two Peltiers. I started this at 11 a.m. on uh, May uh, 25th. And so far there's still plenty of fluid in here. It's been going for about almost nine hours now. Peltiers are holding up pretty good. And it's powering the solar fan. One fan, another fan here. And so this is after about eight hours. So far it's looking good. Everything's holding up fine. It's in good shape. These are the results of the uh, first burn test. I had these uh, Peltiers burning for 20 straight hours. And um, I used um, thermal paste, you know, put thermal paste on the uh, heat sink and thermal paste on the bottom of the um, Peltier here. And um, if we take a close look right here, there is almost no black soot on the bottom of the um, device here. No black soot at all. That's a very, very good sign. That's after 20 hours of non-stop heat um, being applied by a lamp. And this is the lamp here, just seeing in the other videos. And in 20 hours, I went from about a third of the top here down to about a third of the bottom. So, um, basically, no problems. The burning test was very successful. I'm very impressed. And um, the best part about it is there's, almost, there's actually no soot on the bottom. So that's pretty good. Well, you guys can see that right here, but I got a thin layer of silver wire. The silver wire here is holding the heat sink um, to the copper plate and um, it's uh, performed very well. It's uh, very interesting because when you use silver wire it can withstand the heat. And remember we're looking at 200 degree Fahrenheit temperatures on this device and um, so so far using these proper tools the burn test is very successful. By the way if you're wondering this is a copper pipe a piece of a copper pipe and um, it's attached to a, a copper plate and then I have um, solid wires in here which I've managed to put through a hole here in the center of the copper pipe as you can see and this copper uh, wire basically is securing the copper plate to the copper pipe. So far a successful burn test, very happy, very successful with the results and more successful interesting discoveries to come. You guys can see that there but we're at about 2.2 volts DC um, Quite simply, this is coming from a, a, a twin Peltier uh, charge. You guys can see that there. But uh, that's the Peltier. I have a fan running at the top. And then um, I have the fan running off a 9 volt battery for now. Later on that will be uh, solar, uh, wind, power. Maybe even a Peltier. Probably use a Peltier to run the fan. But um, i able to generate uh, comfortable 2.2 uh, volts just with those two um, Peltiers. So uh, currently it's uh, June 1st, 2014 and uh, the results are getting better. Um, I've noticed significant improvement by using a fan because a fan multiplies the extremes. So you have extreme cold and you have extreme heat. And by amplifying both extremes um, pretty much able to get a pretty decent voltage and right now we're um, we're approaching two and a half volts and this is after about 15-20 minutes it's been on so uh, right now it's climbing up to three volts and uh, we're almost at three volts right now so uh, three volts Almost three volts coming off of uh, two Peltiers, got heat sinks on the top, thermal compound uh, in between, and we got the fan on top. So I'm very impressed with this. So that's about 1.5 volts um, in each direction. So I uh, assume we'll use the uh, Peltier to turn the fan instead of the 9 volt battery, and maybe uh, assist it with solar power too. So uh, that will help the um, increase the voltage. But that's the final result, and that's pretty good. Thank you for watching.